Hello everybody and welcome back to Reading Time with Miss Nunn. Today we're reading the book that you have been reading in school, some of you, if you're my pupils, you've been at school and you've been reading The Lonely Beast. Now if you haven't been at school with me, you won't have no, no idea what we're talking about, but this is such a great book and you're going to really enjoy it. So, today I've decided to come to a very lonely place where usually there'd be loads of people here, but at the moment there's no one here, is there, because we're in lockdown. So, we're still here and I'm going to read this book to you, I hope you enjoy it. The Lonely Beast. The beasts are very rare. Not many people have heard of them. In fact, they are so rare that there is only one beast in each country. And they don't even know one another. Do you think you've ever met a beast? That's the big question. They are very quiet creatures who live alone, high in the mountains or deep in the forests. They like nothing more than tending their beautiful gardens, drinking tea, reading a good book, walking in the snow, standing in the rain, baking cakes, and of course, eating them. That's me, eating all my cakes that I love to eat. This is the story of one such beast who one day suddenly felt very lonely. He made up his mind there and then that he would go and find some other beasts. Sounds like a good idea to me. Straight away he started walking through the forest and stumbled down the side of the mountain. He crossed a dangerous river, climbed down a high cliff, jumped off a giant waterfall and crept through a dark cave. What an adventure! He ran over many snowy mountains and finally he reached the sea. What's he going to do now? There's no boats for him to get on. He jumped in and started to swim until he could no longer see land. A seagull rested on his head and he played with some dolphins. He swam and swam and swam until he was very, very tired. So he started to sink. And when he reached the bottom, he started to walk. On the way, he was nearly caught by a huge octopus, trapped his foot in a giant clam, walked through a garden of pink jellyfish, and swam with a giant turtle. Would you like to swim with a giant turtle? I'm not sure I'd want to walk through a garden of pink jellyfish, though. Just when he could swim no more, he hitched a lift from a friendly whale. At last he reached the shore. Then he walked and walked and walked and walked and walked. Until he arrived at the city and saw lots of people, but there were no other beasts. Hello, he said, but everyone ran away. Curious, the people slowly came back to meet him, and soon the whole city came out to say hello. Would you come and say hello to a beast? The people liked the beast so much they let him live in the big park. It wasn't long before the beast had made the park as beautiful as his own garden. Every day, people came to visit him. Living in a park would be quite exciting, wouldn't it? He is still on his own, though. There's no other beast with him. He liked the people very much, but he was still lonely. So he decided to talk on the radio and all the newspapers and on television about his great journey to the city and his search for other beasts. I like his time. Suddenly the whole world was talking about him, but still he had not heard from any other beasts and he started to miss his own garden. Late one night, while the people were sleeping, he crept out of the park. Where's he going to go? Hurrying through the streets, he left the city. He walked and walked and walked until he reached the sea. Then he started to swim until he was very, very tired and sank to the bottom and walked some more. 
He trapped his foot and nearly got caught before reaching the shore. He climbed the cliff, crossed the river and finally found his forest. He was amazed to see so many other beasts in his garden. They had been feeling lonely too and had come from all over the world to find him. Welcome home! Woo! They danced through the night and every night after that and the beast never was lonely again. The end. Oh, what a lovely story. I love a story with a happy ending. It makes me feel very happy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And remember, if you're feeling lonely, you can also always find your friends or your family to talk to. See you next time for more Reading Time with Miss Nunn. Bye-bye.